back on another episode of Bill Sampler Pod. This is your boy JJ, and we got Javi over here. And then we got some crazy things that happened on Friday Night SmackDown. We called it The Rock was not there. Yeah. We called it Roman Reigns wasn't there. Exactly. Realistically. But uh, it would have been crazy if it would have came out, but it would it would have been too early. Too early. Too, too early, much. Like too we much. Said. Too, like we said on the last Slow episode. and steady. Slow and steady. Sell the story. Oh, man. Tell the story. <laughs> Can we talk about how Paul Heyman is the real GOAT right now? I mean, Paul Heyman, bro, like, honestly, we may talk about a couple of things from the show, even the beginning, but the ending, but by far, was the most important part. The last probably eight minutes of the show were just beautiful storytelling in wrestling, period. Because then you have, because the first solo had said that uh, Jacob wasn't going to be there because, uh, um, uh, Paul Heyman was asking for him. Obviously, he's scared of him because he's the most dangerous guy in the planet, <laughs> based on what Corey Graves was saying. <clears throat> uh, damn, I almost had like a Joe. Oh, sorry. I ain't going to say that. But uh, I almost, <laughs> almost lost my voice there. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, but, but uh, uh, Paul Heyman was asking about, solo, uh, about Jacob Fatu, uh, your boy with the box mouth. So, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I can't even do it, bro. It's yeah, impossible. It. Like can't. you need to put like something there. <laughs> he probably <laughs> he probably put cereal boxes in his mouth when he was a kid <laughs> and got him like that or something or, yeah, or like a Duplo block, like a Duplo block. But bro, even even a kid would say like this kid's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah, but but the thing is like even uh, like he's doing that whole thing and then he solo wanted Paul Heyman to acknowledge him as the tribal chief. Which, which I like that because it's obviously, you know, kind of giving you the same. He's trying to be Roman Reigns, kind of like what they were saying. Like even, even uh, everything, everything yeah. is him trying to be Roman. Yes, like even CM Punk, where he's like, yeah, yeah I just saw a cosplay, cosplay tribal chief, even and then Cody that. said, what, what did Cody say? Like a seat warmer or something like that? Like the lamest insult even, ever. Yeah. <laughs> even the hand, whenever the hand gesture of like passing the microphone. Yeah, but it didn't even look right either. Like it doesn't, it doesn't. But uh, you know, but but I loved yeah. it. And then Jacob, and then finally when they go back. Jacob Fatu comes out, bro. That entrance was yeah, wow, bro. literally, literally, bro. That looked great. The music's great. Uh, the graphics yeah. are awesome. I, like, I, like I was telling you earlier, I love that. It looks like it has blood cells. So obviously, you know, in reference to the bloodline, everything. And uh, and honestly, like, like I said last week, man, the dude's in amazing shape. Like he just does not look like himself. Like that's crazy. Yeah. And hey, man, that, that's what uh, some money does. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, whenever they were like, whenever Solo is like making everybody acknowledge him, everybody speaking gibberish and saying "I acknowledge you," was like the most hilarious thing. Um, I love you, and I acknowledge you. Yeah, but bro, like, uh. Like, I was surprised. I thought Jacob was going to be like, no, or he wasn't going to say anything. You know what I mean? Just stay in the back. Like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, but, nope. yeah, yeah, but not yet. Not yet. It, it may happen later on. But I think it's, you know, they're still telling you the story. But then the part that I w- Okay, you could see it coming, but I wasn't expecting it to happen when they wait, whoop wait, Paul Hammond. Oh, wait, wait, let's go back. Let's go back. You mentioned Cody. Something yeah. about Cody that I want to point out, right, right, was that whenever uh, uh, Cody was saying like this tonight was supposed to be a a uh, a night where I was gonna do an open challenge for anybody uh, anybody in the back to have a championship match opportunity or something like that, and the way that Randy Orton looked at and yes. Cody was like, huh. <laughs> And uh, he's been like looking at him a little bit weird, and I think I'm predicting right now that I, that the 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 way that the bloodline is gonna win is gonna be because Randy Orton is gonna turn. Maybe and money in the bank. Randy's gonna get those cheeks. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> and then he's gonna punt him. Yes, yes. Can't wait and to I see even, that. Can't. I even put my I even put my uh, bloodline uh, uh, color uh, case on. <laughs> today i was like yeah you know what i gotta do it bro just because like <laughs> there's an opportunity that maybe just maybe roman comes out so yeah 
No, and then oh, and then the other thing is the whole uh, we want Roman chants getting louder and louder every time, every week, and I love it. Yeah, I get tears, yeah. bro. I had goosebumps whenever the whole Sika <laughs> tribute, bro. No, that that was a good thing. That was a good yeah, thing. Yeah, I had allergies. My allergies were going crazy. Yeah, mine didn't. Mine didn't go crazy, but because I was still confused trying to figure out who was who. Because it's like they always show pictures with both of them, and I'm like, which one's Sika and which one's Alpha? And then they put a picture, and then one looks like the other. It's like, good God, like what are these, the Usos or something? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> they, look, they, do, they look pretty similar, but uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was crazy. Now we can move on to the main event. There we go. Me, bro, now you can go ahead and get get out the system, oh, bro. When they're like doing the whole acknowledgement thing, when you had it first, it was uh, uh, a Tama Tamatonga. Tamatonga, when he was like you know speaking in tongues, doing his thing, where I couldn't understand what he was saying. And I, the only thing I understood was he said Fatu somewhere along the line. So I guess he's in reference to the family. Uh, then you had um, uh, what you might call it, the Romeo Santos. Uh, saying, hey, Astrubal. I love you. Astrubal, sorry. Astrubal, Astrubal Santos. Astrubal, get it right. <laughs> uh, saying, hey, uh, I acknowledge you, whatever. I love you, Solo Sakura. Then you had Jacob with his wild self, looking like Blanca, like behind everybody, you know, with the box yeah. mouth and all that. He's just like pacing. I'm at how Solo was like, my enforcer. I'm like, yeah, Yo, you're just trying to do everything that Roman did. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's basically cosplaying him. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, except, except for the clothes, because his clothes are not clean, not at all. Uh, he just looks like uh, he just throws it on and does it. Yeah, he's like, "What do I wear? The same thing all over again." <laughs> but uh, he's still wearing that velvet shirt, bro. Or it looks terrible. Fuck material. It looks it terrible, is. bro. It looks like something straight out of the nineties. Like I swear, it looks straight out of the nineties. Yeah. The only thing he needs is that song, like the. The what is love? I believe in what your hand. Oh. <laughs> Remember that song? No, not that one. <laughs> no, not not. No, see, you have to mention it again. Now it's I back in my head. I believe in Roman. Oh, I believe <laughs> in Roman. <laughs> and you have to do the clapping like that. It can't be like this. It got to be like. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, yeah like you're strong. Yeah. Like you have to do the little head movement, dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, anyways, uh, man, Paul Heyman during this whole segment was goaded. Whenever no, but wait, 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 wait. Don't accelerate it. Don't accelerate it. What do you mean? It, 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 you just said that everybody acknowledged him. Like, where, where else am I supposed to go? The chili pepper necklace. I was about to fucking talk okay, about Okay, all right, cool. Like, go, like, go, go. Whenever, whenever Paul, whenever they bring out, no, actually, whenever Solo, after everybody acknowledges him, he's like, Brooklyn, acknowledge me. And Paul Heyman, like, spassed out. He's like, what are you doing? Like, he, he spassed out at him about that. So that was a nice touch to it. But then to put the cherry on top was whenever the chili pepper necklace came out. <laughs> that he was just like where'd you get that from like and then he was just freaking out and then they put in his they put the chili pepper necklace in paul Heyman's hand and then the microphone and he's like you now it's your turn to acknowledge me and he started kissing it too and then he started kissing and then yo but like bro his eyes were bloodshot bro well and then like, when he looked right. up he was like why have you forsaken me like, <laughs> like this yeah is so good and and like he's legit crying like this man bro, is his, beard, crying. his beard his yeah. beard bro Everything like he looked like he hasn't taken a shower in like a week, straight up. And, and plus the fact, like I, like I told you, he, he probably cried with the whole Sika thing too because he knew him personally. I mean, they were they were friends, yeah. So they started together. Um, um, they almost started together basically. So okay, yeah, there is a, yeah. By the way, respect to to Sika again. <laughs> but surprised. yeah, but uh, but I mean that was great, man. Just uh, just the little things that Paul does, like yes, he. He gave that chili pepper necklace more importance than Cody has given to the to the WWE Championship since he's had it for ninety days. And bro, he's still Cody's still mentioning the bloodline. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. For, for no reason. Like they have no beef. Like there's no reason why they should be wrestling. There's no reason why there should be an issue between them because they have nothing between them. It's a different well, set of guys. So Solo is just hitting everybody now. He's just like fuck it. I, I'm going after everybody. <laughs> they go on. They they taking everybody out here in these streets. Yeah, hide true. your kids, hide your wife, because they like get the bird for him or something. <laughs> Use but, the bird uh, masks. 
But yeah, um, but anyways, um, so yeah, then whenever Paul Heyman grabbed the chili pepper necklace and he has the microphone and he's like, I love you solo, but I don't acknowledge you as my tribal chief. Bro, I popped for that, man. I was just sitting on the couch all comfortable and I just got off like, let's go. I fucking told you. I said it. He was going to be loyal. Baby face Heyman. Baby face Heyman. Baby for the face first Heyman. time ever, I think. <laughs> let's go. Like oh true God, baby I face. Loved it. I loved it. Yeah, no, that, that was good. That was good. And the way that he took he took these hits, like, bro, like, like a champ. I hope he's okay. I don't know if he's, he's okay. Be, he's probably going to be written off for a while. He has to be because, I mean, bro, that power bomb. That's like four guys lifting him up. Yeah. Uh, oh, that look. I thought that Jacob looked was going to mock Roman and going to do the, how, uh, you know what I mean? I thought he was going to do it. You know what? I, like, I, 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 I don't think no. he would do it. I don't think he would do it. Yeah. Just out of respect, that's bro. A, like, it's he, like, bro, he put you on the map, like, realistically. Like, in reality, in real, you know, in real life, like, he respects him so much that I don't think he's gonna do that. Like, and even to the Usos, because you know the love that he has for the Usos. Like, he yeah. sees him, he sees them as what he want, has always wanted to be, right? Because yeah. they reached that goal, where it took him forever to make it. But hey, he made it in a big imp, and he made a big impact too. Out of everybody from the from the Bloodline 2.0, Jacob Fatu looks the most intimidating and the dopest out of everybody else in like, every you know I mean? sense of the word in every everything everything promo like, even, strength even with, speed even with the fucking tape on his fingers like everything like he put on tape on his fingers just to do like a power bomb and a splash and that was it like this man was out there ready like he was yeah yeah he, he was serious he wasn't playing around no yeah. games but now no games. now to get to the conclusion of everything they they hit the wise man they hit the wise man. We were saying, don't do it. Le tocaron al viejo. Le tocaron al viejo. Don't do it. Because now, now it's about to be worse. Now you just made things worse. You could have just kicked him out peacefully. Just been like, no, I don't need you. Get out. Like, you're out of here. Remember, he wants to be Roman. But no, he, 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 uh, he, uh, he, they, he hit the wise man. And now Roman... Is gonna come back pissed. I wonder if they're gonna come back together. They have to. Or like whenever Paul matter of fact, what if Paul Heyman is the one that comes back first? And then he's like and he introduces he he does he cuts a promo on him. I don't know, like uh he says some shit like you think you thought that you were the tribal chief, blah blah blah. Well let me tell you something. That the real tribal chief is here, and then the music uh, Roman's music drops. I don't know. That'd be good. That'd be good. I hope th- uh, what I hope they don't. I do- want the element of surprise. Yeah, I want the element of surprise, but I hope they don't do like three or four weeks where they have like uh, somebody in the shadows back in backstage. They take out one of the guys from the bloodline, and you just leave solo for the va- for the very last because they're capable of doing that. That sounds like very Vince McMahon booking, where it's yeah. like oh, it's every week somebody else from the bloodline disappears. Where'd they go? Yes. Like it's like no. They all hurt. But it would be crazy if they all came out, like if it was Jimmy J next to him. Yeah. But it's not gonna happen. I think it's gonna be a slow burn of like, hey, we have to. Uh, he's gonna have to recruit. Let's put it like that. Or who knows? Maybe Roman comes out with Jimmy, and Jimmy comes with him. Actually, you know what? To be honest with you, I almost want to see the Usos show up at the same time together. I don't care about the story at this point. Like I, I just want to see them together. We don't need a story. They already have their story. They're brothers, so it's cool. Like they fight one day, the next day they're back, like normal. So that oh that God. that could that, be okay. Just, just them really showing chill, up, bro. Like whenever really you think chill. that Roman's about to, they're about to take out Roman, right? He comes back trying to save Paul Heyman, and then all of a sudden the Usos just show up, start whooping ass with Hikuleo. Well, the, but the Usos music. Has no, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen with the Hikuleo. Hikuleo. <laughs> Ricky's just show up. Then I'll do the whole. Sure do the whole. Facts. Starting to. It's like, Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm here trying to make a paycheck, son. <laughs> I'm trying to make some money. Yeah. He's the only one that pisses me off about the the, the bloodline. Like, yeah, he spoils like shit. He just needs to stay quiet. Like, yeah, it's like, bro, you're ruining your kid's out. story. Yeah. 
Like, just shut exactly. up. Like, I get Roman it. Roman has to have a conversation with him. Like, like hey, hey bro. Look, I, like, is that his uncle? No, yeah. they're cousins. Oh, uh, damn. I can't remember, the, the, remember, Roman is the Uso's cousin, is the, the Uso's uncle. Don't you remember? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they never stop having kids. <laughs> no, bro, Roman has like five or six or whatever. Jacob, Jacob has like, seven. Pull out? Bro, pull out is not in Samoan vocabulary. Like, they don't know what that is. Pull out is not in the in the vocab. Like, it's like, what? What is that? They you put it on, you put it in, back up, bro. You, you put reverse. it in Google Translate. You put it in, bro, you put it in Google Translate. Your phone just heats up and explodes. Yeah. Has no idea what to do with <laughs> error. <laughs> error. They said missionary? Nah, fam. Nah. Nah, nah. We're going nah, Islander. Nah. Facts. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> and then three kids pop out like after that. Like, yo. <laughs> but uh they but anyways, go, go go hey go, no 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 let, 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 let's, go let's go back to the story. Let's go back to the story. So question. Do you think Roman's coming back for SummerSlam or is he coming back for Money in the Bank? He he better not come out for Money in the Bank because I'm going to be pissed. Canada what? don't deserve that. Toronto don't deserve that. As much as I love Canada, but like, no. They, they no. No. I don't mind, I don't mind that part. Now, no, my- I, think, I, think, I, think, I think Randy has to turn and they should just leave it at that. Randy turns on Cody. And that's how the bloodline wins. And then you just are happy ever, happily ever after. And then you just move on. There's too many pay-per-views in less than a month, bro. At least that's what it feels like. Okay. Well, actually, you know what you're saying about having Randy turn on Cody? It would make sense for Roman. It wouldn't make, it wouldn't make that much sense for Roman to show up because you know that's going to outshine anything that happens with Cody and Randy. Yeah. yeah so yeah. You, have to get, you have to let that story breathe. So at least there is right. something for SummerSlam. So, you know, I, I think you, you may have a point there, even though, like, to be honest with you, if it was up to me, I'd have it happen next next Friday on SmackDown. I don't care. <laughs> on NXT, I don't care what it is. I, it could be on Superstars. I don't care. I'm watching just, that. Just, I'm watching that. I just that. want Roman back. I'm watching that John, like you would that, say. Damn. Yo, who would have ever thought that Javi would have been like, I would just want Roman Reigns back? Well, because I who saw how bad, I, I saw how bad the <laughs> Cody's been as champion. That's why. But hey, simple as that. The 20, 2024 has been amazing for wrestling. I mean, the first part of 2024, the first quarter. After that, it has just been uh, slowly. I mean, we fizzled. have to give them the we have to give them the benefit of the doubt too. I mean, literally there's a, there's just the, finished just a three three year old a three uh, a three year old uh, story. So now, now you're trying to build it. Finish. No, but well, technically that the part is done. Story. At least the first chapter. You imagine it's like Lord bro, of the whenever Rings. they make a YouTube video of this shit, the whole Chronicles of the Bloodline, and it's like fucking three hours. Every part, each part, it's gonna be like four parts. It's it, bro, it's, yeah, it's gonna bro, be it's like Star Wars. No, no, no. This is gonna be like the Avengers Last Dance. Infinite. This is gonna be like the Last Dance, which is like ten episodes oh, or something. Yeah, or it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, here we go. Yeah. But you're gonna be so interested. I, it's gonna be good. Which, it's gonna be fun. Which, by the way, uh, before we go, they did. Uh, they were announcing the WrestleMania XL uh, backstage or something like that. So that Rock and Roman were having their own kind of like documentary style talking about everything. So that's cool. That's smart. That's, that's smart of YouTube. I mean, the amount of, of and YouTube. content. So look at here, Drua, right? A Drua, YouTube. <laughs> eh, está en YouTube. Mira, paisana, está en el YouTube. No, I don't know. Yo tú me crees como tres acentos diferentes. But it's yeah. like you get a la Haima, la Haima. What? No. Air Max. Oh, okay. That. And <laughs> uh, but all right, bro. So let's see what happens. Uh, soon we're gonna have the predictions for money for yeah for money in the bank. It's next week. Like that hit me like a ton of bricks, bro. It bro, seems like it like you're saying so like every quick. other week we had Clash of the Castle. So Clash was, so fast. Was Clash like of the Castle was what ago. two weeks ago, right? And then before that, it was backlash. That was like right. Like. So we're gonna have like literally in less than in about a hundred days, we're gonna have three pay per views. That's crazy. In less than in, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Mania was in April, 
Yeah. And, uh, but Mania so was technically two pay per views in one. <laughs> yeah, true. Pay-per-view. But still, like, so then the next week, the week of Money in the Bank, you're gonna have NXT Heat Wave too. Oh wait, and I forgot. Didn't they have they have Queen Keen and Queen of the Ring? I forgot about that one. That was another uh, one. Another pointless pay per view. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, I which by the know. way, who won King of the Ring? Gunta. Was he? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he gets that right. championship opportunity. Yeah, and he's gonna right? beat. Uh, yeah, he's, and he's gonna so, beat. Um, I'm still surprised he hasn't cashed in. Oh wait, it, it's not a. Ca- it is a oh, cash. No, in. it's for is SummerSlam. It? He's gonna get the championship oh, yeah, match. Yeah. It's probably gonna be against Seth Rollins. But. Oh my God. Okay, Damien no le puede dar duro, so I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be Damien. Damn. I can't wait for Nia just to fuck shit up. But anyways, go ahead, bro. Take it away. <laughs> All right, guys. Just remember to like, subscribe, share, and acknowledge the tribal chief. Peace. The real <laughs> tribal chief, Roman Reigns. And the wise man. Sorry. All right. Bye. And the Usos. No solo. They, they can't. <laughs> <laughs>